this is Wesley Virgin, your master motivator and master virtual trainer here with 7dayfitness.com. And folks, I know you may be wondering why in the world does this gentleman have a, you know, a pea coat on? You know, it's very, it's very nice, isn't it? But you know what, it's about to get a little chilly here, so I thought I'd put it on because I'm going to hit you home here today. And today I'm going to talk about briefly principle number eight, and it goes this and it reads, talk about your own mistakes before criticizing the other person. Now what does that mean? See by design, for some reason we tend to criticize, complain, and always talking about another person's faults. You know what does the married couple, what does the couple do that's in a relationship? Well why did you leave that toothpaste out, Jim? Well can you ever start to clean out the bathtub? Oh, can you wash the dishes sometimes? You never do that. Stop leaving your dirty drawers on the floor. See, folks, it is so easy and it's so repetitive and so habitual how we criticize and always talk about another person's flaws. But yet, we don't talk about our own. But yet, we don't talk about our skeletons in the closet. We don't talk about our mistakes. We don't talk about our downfalls. But folks, if you want to give genuine advice to anyone, to any person, before you condemn, before you criticize them, before you tell them how they just so terrible and you don't know why you're with them or you don't know why you're dealing with them, talk about your own mistakes. If you care about this person, if you love this person, talk about your mistakes. Be vulnerable. Talk about what happens when you go home after work. Talk about when the door is shut, when the door is locked. What goes on in your house after 9, 10 o'clock p.m.? Talk about the things that you may be ashamed of. If you want to give advice, be prepared to be vulnerable. Be prepared to be genuine. Be prepared to be honest with yourself. Folks, if you want to build relationships, I don't care if it's with your child. You know, I can tell you a brief story. I had a beer in my refrigerator. And my daughter came in and said, Daddy, what is this? And I said, oh, uh, you know, uh, I was a little bit nervous. I was a little bit flustered. She said, oh, honey, honey, I'm sorry. I just, I had a beer, you know, I had some people over. She said, get rid of it. Throw it away. I was like, wow. See, the thing is, I had to be honest at that time. And you know, the thing is, my daughter, she watches every step that I make. But guess what? If I want to give my daughter advice, I must be honest with her of why I have a beer in my refrigerator, folks. I can't say, well, you don't worry about that, honey. That's not for just for grown folks. I'll be a fool to say that, folks. What I'm saying here is take accountability of your actions, your mistakes, your own flaws. And you tell the other person, say, you know what, Jim? At times I do this. And at times I do this, but this is what I do to keep myself from this area, to keep myself from this issue. And it might be something that you want to try. We're not perfect. Don't condemn, don't criticize. Don't complain about it. It's so easy to complain and talk about another person's mistakes. But I want you to do is look in the mirror. Look at your flaws. If you're not prepared, to convey, to talk about your flaws in front of the person that may be your wife, your husband, your child, your brother, your sister, your mama, or your father. If you're not prepared to talk about those things, maybe you need to keep the advice to yourself. Hey folks, this is Wesley Virgin, your master motivator and master virtual trainer here with 7dayfitness.com. Get fit with 